M0FXB above we have the quantum spectrum SDR I normally use it with my Zygu G90 because that has a very small screen and obviously this this connected gives you you know gives you a touch screen and a nice signal meter but because the ICOM 7300 Mark II model has a, a receive antenna but also an output from the receive and there's two small SMAs at the back we can feed an SDR and the, the quantum spectrum is so perfect because this is not only uh, an interface for a radio like the G90 but it also can be a standalone receiver and it, it will allow uh, an, an RF input so we're stealing that from the Mark II and it's very easy to at the moment they're actually both receiving uh, using the receive antenna because if you go press function in I turn off the receive antenna and um, back out this will keep receiving because it's like a loop through but look we've lost our receive signal now if we connect our transmit antenna you'll see we've we're now on the other antenna so the Mark II is almost like a well, it is a dual antenna device. But when you connect the, when you make use of that out, that out coming from the 7300 Mark II, you are you're effectively dual receiving because um, yeah, we're on. We can go to different frequencies here. Although it's really bad conditions tonight, normally it's way better than this. But anyway, out of band, lots of signals there. But can you see that I'm still receiving, if I turn it down, I'm still receiving on the quantum, not that it's busy, even though I'm playing around there. And if we go back in, hit function, turn the receive antenna back on, we're back to where we were. And just to show you, just in case you're not aware, I'm just going to quickly show you how to switch the, sorry, the quantum to standalone. You do have to move a couple of little prongs on the back, I'll show you, but in the actual menu, and excuse me if it goes wrong here because um, it's quite fiddly doing this and, and filming and not trying to not get into the camera in the way of the camera, but basically tap the menu and then this will actually be closed. That's Well, that's turning on the RF there. Let me just turn, go off. I just want to close that menu down. Okay, I start from the beginning. So you go down to configuration. Let me just start again, one minute. So you hit the menu, like so. And you go down one, if you go too far, just keep going. Down one, then you open, and then the one that says here, I've, I've actually enabled the preamp, not that it really needed it. IF, RF, enable, you have to, in, that's on at the moment turn it off you're effectively turning the rf antenna off that's going into this device and then if you just turn it back on and then just save and then exit and then if that's it you got your signal there so it's, sorry if that was a bit faffy but um we're getting there and on the back I'm going to take this off now completely um, and there is a speaker connection just there I'll take that off now I don't really need it and then on the back if I just completely turn this round you'll see let's move it a bit closer here those see the words SDR these two pins just pull off and move to the left and then they're back to normal but in the receive and the sort of RF mode you want them to look like that and that's it and on the back of the 7300 there's just two SMAs the one that's nearest the big fan is the one that is the receive antenna so where my antenna is connected to the to, you know this side or the one that's furthest away from that is the one that's sending out the RF I think it's great fun thanks for watching bye for now